<gasps> oh, another fabulous day in the magical land of tiny planet solar system. And we're off on another thrilling adventure. Yay, let's go. Are you tired of riding this lift yet? Because I sort of am. I know it's not very long lift. Like if this lift had been like another, I don't know, two to three seconds longer, I probably would have quit this game by now. But thankfully, it's it's just it's just an acceptable length, you know. I think they probably tested that. The people, I, I can't imagine I'm the only person who's played this game and died like a trillion times, just like learning how to land on planets and stuff. So, so we have a lot of exciting, uh, a lot of exciting new wonders to behold. Honestly, look at all this. Look, look at all this. My little map is just. Filling right out. Um, yeah, that was a thing. That was a thing, right? We might have to go back to the Ember Twin and basically redo what we did last time. In fact, I'm pretty certain that's what we're going to have to do today. Because it feels like most of the exciting exploration... I'm sure there's pl plenty more for me to see elsewhere, don't get me wrong. But most of my leads right now are pointing directly at the core of the Ash Twin. Which means we have to go to the Ember Twin, wait for the Ash to leave the Ash Twin, and then move across. And I don't know if it's something I did that caused the Ash to... I, I don't think so. I think the Ash is constantly moving from A to B, right? But... But yeah. I mean, actually, it doesn't look like it's doing it right now, but presumably it will start at some point. Presumably. Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it. Back up, back up, back up, back up. There we go. Yes, good, good. Eee, shit. Fucking, fucking no. Fucking no. Oh, actually, no, this is, this is working. This is fine. We might be on the uh, wrong side of the planet. To get in the way we, we normally go in, but I'm sure there's stuff to see around here too, right? Right? We can hope. If not, we can just fucking chill until the sand comes down and then... And then swap planets. I mean, that's another option. Hang on, what the fuck's this? <laughs> it's right next to my ship, I didn't even notice it. I was just about to walk away. Like some big solar panels or some shit? Oh. Oh, hang on. I thought I could hear the sand pouring then. Like, dangerously close to me. Oh, it's all the way over there. Actually, I'm not great at perspective. Is that far away or is it close? It's actually quite close, isn't it? I think it is going to miss me. Unless it changes course a bit. Which I think it might be doing. Um, hang on. Let me just, uh... I'll just hide from it behind this rock. It will never see me. Whoa, okay. Okay. I wasn't aware cactuses were one of the biggest threats to my existence. Fucking hell. Go near a cactus and immediately start leaking oxygen everywhere. That's fucking harsh. What have we got down here then? I don't really know what the point of, of this whole scout business is. The game really seems to be trying to encourage me to use it, but I mean, all it's really doing is allowing me to maybe see slightly more. And like, like, like dude, I can, I, I can see, I can just look through the hole, you know? It's not like I can actually access the shit that we're looking at right now. I keep hearing sand and it's really fucking triggering me. I keep thinking I'm about to be overthrown, overrun, just like stampeded by a big sand tornado, but I don't think I am. I think I'm alright. It's just a sandy place. Everything's sandy around here. I suppose when an entire planet is emptying the entire contents of its sand onto your planet, you can probably hear it from most play what is that down there okay we have a new target that's where we're heading carefully identified signal nearby that's a point there should be a dude on this planet somewhere right like there I don't think I've ever spoken to the dude on this planet so this should be an exciting one Plus, you know, I get to refill my oxygen. I didn't even realise I could do that on this planet. 
I thought I was in a permanent state of, well, aside from the place underground, obviously. Aside from that, I thought I was just a bit fucked around here. Hello. Oh, you're a little man. Why are you so little? Why do you have a big golden egg for a face? A oh gosh, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twin. I'm the Sam now. Yep, that's the voice I'm going with. <laughs> that's the voice that came into my head. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this was also definitely my first launch. What are you up to? Ormfeld asked me to update the shadows that are flickering all over the world right now. <laughs> asked me to update the star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or two on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Tell me, what can I do for you? Um, I found something? Did I find something? Never mind. No, I was, I was talking. Um, how do I know if I've spotted a supernova? Supernova looks like extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in on one with your signal soap, you can... <laughs> signal soap? <scope. laughs> That's a hard word to say. <laughs> you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespan, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. <laughs> I wonder if my lift is getting completely out of hand, if I, some of these stars are older than we realize. How dangerous is that big column of fall? I don't need to ask that. I know how, how bad it is. I know how bad it is. Um, nice to see you, dude, but you really don't have anything for me. I've explored this planet far more than you have, honestly. You've just been sat here banging your little drum. I've actually been out there doing the real work. How do I get down here? I'm not so sure I want to get down there anymore, because I know that the ash is a fallen. It might not even be worth it going inside at this point. I might just be better off waiting for the ash to rise high enough and then just ship on over to the ash core. The ash core? The ash twin. The core of the ash twin. There we go. Those are the words I wanted. Put them in that order and it makes sense, doesn't it? Any other order and it gets a bit confusing. Cave. Is this just a... Oh no, I think it does carry on. What do I do with a flashlight again? There we go, like that. This might be dangerous, knowing that there is, in fact, sand rising up, but fuck it. Let's go have a little look around. What is this? Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip, and he's been missing ever since. Malare, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Bear. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about the unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, Malore? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample and when I turned back he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air, Anona. I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis, he shall learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have little time. Oh, hello. Hi. You're one of them, aren't you? You weren't there a minute ago, and now you are. I know if I do this... Ta-da! Oh, I never get tired of being jump-scared by rocks, I tell you. Oh, hang on, I came in up there, didn't I? But there's a down here as well. Let's just keep progressing until we can't because ash is filling up the entire planet, you know. I'm back outside again. I hope I can find my way back to my ship after all this. Oh, we've got plenty of time. Look how low that is. Plenty of time. Probably going to run out of oxygen before we get sanded to death. Is that a thing that can happen, being sanded to death? Oh, shit, we're here. Fuck, okay. Think we got enough time to get all the way in before the sand rises? The sand dash? I think we do. We know where we're going, right? 
In fact, I might explore some of the alternate routes instead, and then just come back out again if the sand becomes an issue. That seems sensible. Uh, one of these was like... That's a dead end, okay. This is the one. This is the bad tunnel. Let's 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 see what's down here then. Oh, it's just there again. Yeah, that's just down there. That's just the the, the anglerfish corpse from a different angle. The different angle fish. I'm here all night, ladies and gentlemen. No, really, I am. I never leave this room. Uh, what's up here then? It says it says there's nothing but rocks, but and there's nothing but rocks. Awesome. You know, I thought maybe that was that was just a ruse they were trying to keep me from going up there for some reason, but nope. Actually, just nothing but rocks. That's fine. Uh, I've not been over here yet either, so let's have a look in here. Trees. Fucking A. Before your air supply and then return quickly. Why don't you fucking make me, bitch? I'll take my tower. Oh. Hmm. Okay, maybe it is a bit too late to be going down into the ruins. I think uh, perhaps we have lost that chance. I'm going to head back to the ship now, in fact. Because by the time I get back there, we're going to have some serious... Uh, serious amounts of sand. Fuck, getting through here is going to be tough enough. There we go. I'm actually quite proud of how good I am getting at controlling this character now. I mean, you all saw me at the start of this, right? In the, in the first episode. Oh, I literally couldn't do anything without smashing my face into things. I think I've made vast improvements from there. So we need to get back to the northern half of the planet, because that's where my ship is. I mean, eventually the sand is going to rise enough to just remove the crater, right? So, at that point, I'll have no problem getting over there. But that might also be a bit... Like, I, do, I don't know what happens, like, if it all starts pouring back again at that point, so I, I might have to be quick getting over to the ash planet. Over there, that's where my ship is, by that big solar array thing. I guess we can, we can try and get over there along here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Well, maybe I am. Ah, there we go, big chasm. Big bad chasm. I think I can get across over there to that bit of scrubland. A little bit of that little bit of brush, that little bit of whatever it is. I don't know why I said scrubland. Not really the term, is it? Okay, I'm going for it. Oh, easy! Fucking hell. I thought I wouldn't be able to clear the gap. I can fucking clear the entire planet. Right, how are we looking then? Where's 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 the ash twin? Next time it comes up, I'm gonna get a, a proper look at the fella. Oh yeah, there is stuff visible on there now. Let, let's go. Let's head over. Means I have to do a second fucking perfect landing, but I think I can manage it. Could have been worse, honestly. We're flat. My fuel's low. Hang on, can I refuel in the ship? I think I can, can't I? Use med kit and refuel jetpack. Okay, I, I can heal in the ship as well. I didn't realise that. I thought I could only refuel. Okay, so... Um, I wanted to land on here specifically because it looked like there was a lot of buildings and things along here. So I guess we'll just start looking at some of them, right? Wow, isn't this one exciting? 
And this one? Even more so. <laughs> hmm. Alright, we'll just we'll just follow the path around. Cause, uh, I think there was a big building at either end of it, so like either way I'm gonna come across something worth seeing, right? Like this fella. Wow. It's dramatic, isn't it? Let me in! I know there's something rad in here somewhere. You can't keep me from it. At least I'm inside now, so even if the ash does start pouring back, I should be safe, right? I mean, I might be buried for all eternity, but... This just takes me back out the other side. Is there nothing in? Is this just a, an oxygen room? Is that all this is? Seems odd that the one place they decided to grow trees on the planet was inside a building. Apparently photosynthesis is a myth in this game. There is more building though, so, you know. Maybe there's something cool in... Is that a glass floor? That's a glass floor, isn't it? Yeah. Panicked then, I thought I was just going to drop into a hole and die. Right. Here's our first delivery. Yarrow, one warp core, fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing the core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started the project. Can I visit some time to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Yeah, Rose, stop using this scroll world. world. Scroll wall to flirt with my sister in romantic matters, her density rivals and neuron stars, and go meet her on the White Hole Station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work here is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. Alright. So apparently the stuff on the White Hole Station that's relevant. I was aware there was a hole in there. In fact, I'll look at the hole first. I'll look at the hole. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting this, but fuck it, let's go. Let's fucking go, lads. That's still a hell of a drop. That was still very dangerous. Is this just gonna... What is this? I expected everything to be up on that platform, but... This has got to be something, right? This has got to be a thing. Is it not a thing? Yeah, I, I don't get motion sick easily, but I, I'm getting a little bit queasy looking at this planet and the other one flipping around each other the way they do. Makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fucking sh That is a... That is a big sand tornado. No, no, I'm not done on this one. No. Let, let me back down. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought I was going to end up on the ember twin for a second there. close. This is about the highest point on this place. But what now? There's got to be... There's got to be something here. There's got to be more than what I've found. Right? There's no way we're done here yet. We seem dangerously close to the sun, I'm not going to lie. Were we always this close around here? It seems to just keep getting bigger. Day-night cycle is intense. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, this doesn't take me upstairs. There's a... There is an upstairs, I saw it. There might be nothing in the upstairs, but there is one, and that's the important thing. Up 
fucking hell. Alright, here we go. Good enough. Good enough. I made it. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. How curious. Raimi thinks I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting you monitor this conversation, Idea. I don't see what state of matter you what, I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this. Okay. Oh gas, I get it. There we go. And I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis, time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yaro. That at least we can agree on. A little bit of a little bit of uh, a little bit of banter. There is definitely something through these cacti. We're just going to have to like live with the puncture, I think. And we're going to try and jetpack through it, but... Okay. Fucking hell, this is impossible. Yep, yep, killed by cacti. What a way to go. After all that, after all that fucking patience I, I exerted there in order to to get onto the Astrin to explore it properly, I got murdered by cactuses. I don't know if it's possible to remove those or if you do just have to like genuinely be super fucking good at controlling the jetpack and just launch your way through it. I don't, I don't know. There was a fucking teleporty thing around the other side. If I could have gone all the way around, there was there was something on the other side. I saw it. I'm not going to try it again immediately, though. I mean, eventually, if I run out of other options, that's going to have to be something we tackle. But so what now? What's next on the agenda? I guess we'll consult the ship's log. Lake bed cave on the Ember Twin. That's definitely something that's going to need to have a look. Because that's going to be something to do with this quantum moon, right? Because these are quantum moon rocks that are doing this thing. And this seems like we're, we're, we're following that lead up a bit. We might do that. What was this? Found a cave with an anglerfish fossil inside. Hey, okay, that's the anglerfish fossil. Then I might survive as it crashed on the boat. Hollow climbed down the cliff to a shelter site below the surface. I feel like I'm done with the brutal hollow for now, though. There's a lot of stuff there, but a lot of stuff I can't get at. Presumably, I can get at everything, though, if I'm just persistent enough, right? Then I might craft a warp cores of the black hole forge before delivering them to the Ash Twin. Then I might sealed something away. There's definitely more in the Ash Twin. There's definitely more. I might have to go back again. We've got that thing we can look at in the, in the end between while we wait for the sun to exit at least, so. The Lake Ped Cave near the North Pole, right? We're gonna head for the North Pole of the end between. That's our goal. Trying to line this up from a distance is hard, and then suddenly it just flies towards you, and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> I wish I'd line this up better. <laughs> okay, I think we're sort of on target here. Just... Not do that. Am I alright? Am I alive? I mean, kinda. Sure. Sure, this will do. I mean, I'm fine. The ship's a bit fucked, but... 
Yeah, all things considered. We're going to need the ship in working order though, aren't we? Because we're going to need to uh, hippity hop over to the Ash Twin in a bit. Where is the other broken part? Something's fizzing. I can hear it fizzing. Oh, is it just the landing camera again? Of course it's the landing camera again. I think we need to, as a species, we need to like... We need to work on developing more robust landing cameras. I think that's our biggest downfall at the moment. We've got everything else fucking on lock, like, Jesus, we're... Weirdly advanced, despite clearly not being very advanced. It's a, it's a strange combination. But, yeah, landing cameras, they're not our forte, evidently. Okay, I need to get across here. I mean, I managed it just with a, a big old jump last time, right? With plenty of fucking room to spare as well, so, I mean, I guess I'll just go for it. I'll aim for that bridge there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Land up here for now. Is this the lake bed cave? Is this what it means? It means down here? I mean, isn't this planet's core hollow? Until it starts absorbing sand. So... Very hard to see what I'm looking at here anyway, what with all the, uh, you know, all of this. Also, I'm just hoping I'm not misremembering and that the cave was actually at the South Pole, because in that case, I, I've done a very big oopsie. <laughs> There's a drastic difference. An almost polar opposite, you could say, <laughs> between the North and South Poles of a planet. Come on, that was a good joke. Give me some credit. Like polar, because the, the, the pole. Shut up. Stop judging me. You're the one who chose to click on the video. That's on you, buddy. There's definitely something down here. Let's get a flashlight on, shall we, so we can actually see shit again. That's a good idea. Alright, we can keep going down. Obviously the ash hasn't filled it up too much yet. Oh, it's filled up that though. I think maybe that's where we needed to go and we just have to get here like super fucking quick. There's 100% something down here, isn't there? Shit, okay, well we've missed out that opportunity. At least we know exactly what we're looking for now though. Maybe next time? I don't know, maybe not next time. Hard to say, really. I'm not sure if the flashlight is using up fuel. Well, that fuel doesn't seem to be going down particularly quickly, so maybe not, but... I don't know if there's some downside to you just having it on all the time, you know. If that had killed me, I would have laughed so hard. That would have been that would have been the best way to go. Getting cocky now. Look at this. Look at this just fucking jet packing around. Could have just taken the stairs. Could have made my life a lot more easy. But nope. No, I'm trying things. I've been in this one. I went in a cave around here. I don't think it was this one though. Oh yeah, I don't remember this. Cactus is everywhere. My arch nemesis. Um, yeah, fuck it, we're not going the cactus route, we'll go this way. Oh, this just takes us... We went out. Three minutes of oxygen's plenty. Not panicking. As long as I don't touch that cactus and lose a load more, I'll be fine. Oh, hello. Hello there. Another one of these fuckos. 
Pilius is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg only any friend reading this help us recover Coleus. The rock is very familiar. Did you travel here by my sedimentary friend? Because your unique colour and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update, Malore and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed the rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. That lake bed cave has some answers. Not turn that off yet. I need to go get some more oxygen, so we're gonna head up to uh, our little friend in the in the camp. In the tree camp at the North Pole. Refill on the old oxygen tanks. And uh, take it from there, I guess. I don't know what level the uh, the ash is at yet. Yeah, we might be able to head over pretty soon. I can see some stuff emerging. I think we're running out of things to do on the surface of this place. There's obviously there's still more in the uh, in the little uh, town underground, but and if I'm going there, I need to go like immediately. And I've kind of missed that window. I think I could probably still get in, but I wouldn't have much time. I don't think so. Where did I park? That's the next question. I kind of forgot where my ship is. I think it's on the southern hemisphere, right? You hate it when you when you forget where you parked. Forget which hemisphere you parked your car on. And we've all been there, right? Oh, hello. What's what's this? Oh, let me let me land. Thank you. Fuck's sake. Gravity is so low on this planet, it is a little bit harder to steer than anywhere else. No, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Pai and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the Whitehall Station. Raimi and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realise this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. An update. The high-energy lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin project. If you're here to help or even to ju just observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Okay. Well, we saw um, signposts for the high-energy lab when we were down there. I don't think we ever went in. I guess that's what this is. Shame we can't get in from up here, but, you know, once again, another thing to do when we uh, return to the Sunless City. I'm glad we got a name for that place now. I might have seen it before and just not clocked it, but... I, uh, I now can definitively start calling it the Sunless City and be happy with that. Where is my ship? Where doth mine ship lie? Ah, I see it. I see it. We're good. I think it's about time I head over. Stuff is emerging and I want to have as much time over there as possible. Might have to wait for like a lot of it to become visible before I can get down to the, the core or whatever, but I really hope I don't have to go through the cactus obstacle course to get to the core. I mean, who would set that up? That's just an accident waiting to happen. That's bad health and safety regulations, honestly. Can I ref Fuel my stuff. Thank you. Good. Excellent. Fuck a lot of bitches. Okay. This isn't, this isn't too hard to steer now. I'm getting the hang of this. I was kind of waiting for the ash twin to... The fuck? Whatever. There it is. Oh, perfect landing. Literally perfect. I am so good at things. I am, like, offensively good at things, honestly. 
When people see me, they're like, look, look at that dude. He's clearly so good at things. And they get a bit intimidated by my, by my presence, you know. One thing to remember about the Ash Twin is it definitely does not have trees. So, um, I think I can refuel my oxygen in my ship. So I'll have to make sure to, you know, bounce back and forth to that while I'm waiting for the sun to dry up. There should be some stuff to explore around here by now, though. Like this. What is this? What are you? Oh, look. Perfect level to get in here. Is this a place we've already been? Yeah, okay. Okay, I get where we are now. I understand. Once uh, a bit more of this sand fucks off, leave, um, we'll have a big road running along down here. Amazing that those cactuses can survive literally underneath the ground there. Have I been in this one? Oh yeah, this was the oxygen room. There is oxygen on here. I, I forgot about this. I completely forgot this existed. It was only like 10 minutes ago that I discovered it, but I'd already forgotten it existed. Left a real impact on me, did the oxygen room. I mean, it's nice, isn't it? Nice little place to come and meditate while listening to the howling death winds outside. The fuck was that? Did you see a fucking meteorite fall from the sky, or was it me? Was that another planet? Was that... What was that? Okay, these are those two towers. It looks like there's something up there, actually. I don't think I... I don't think I came up here, right? Huh. Yeah. Oh, this is... This is on the surface when the Astrin starts. I came here like the first time I ever... Don't know why that didn't suck me up, but I am fine with it. Yeah, the first time I ever arrived, this bit was, was sticking out. Huh. Funny that, isn't it? Strange how these things all start to fit together. There's a dead guy. This is a dead guy. Hey, dead guy. Oh, here we go. We're getting some real shit emerging now. There is something at the core of this planet. That's the important thing. And we're going to find out what that is. Mm, maybe not like that. But somehow we're going to do it. This is moving away from me, right? This isn't coming towards me. Yeah, it's moving away from me, good. <laughs> I was a little bit worried I was about to just, like, charge blindly into the sand tornado. I wouldn't put it past myself, honestly. Competence isn't my middle name. It's James. That's something you didn't know about me, eh? dangerous to close the docks in myself there. You're not getting a surname out of me though, bitches. That's not going to happen. <laughs> not unless you give me money or something. That's, that's honestly all it would take. <laughs> if someone offered me, like, I don't know, 50 bucks for my surname, I'd just be like, yeah, sure, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> 100 bucks for face pics, you know. <laughs> I'm not exactly a principled guy, you know. I stick to my principles right up until there's something in it for me. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be much. Right, up there was the, the, the horrible cactus tower. We're not fucking with that place. I want to see what happens if I keep going around from here. This is where I reached last time. Oh, there's more bridge if we go through the horrible cactus tower. Hang on. What a landing. How good am I at things? Oh, and these are the two towers again, right? 
with the dead guy. Yeah, okay, okay, we've circumnavigated the whole place. There's nothing to see aside from aside from the cactus trap. Let's just go down. I mean, we could take the cactus lift down, but I feel like, potentially, the core is going to be very accessible very soon. You know? It doesn't look like it's going down. Oh no, it is still very slowly going down. Very slowly. I mean, this is going to be on the roof of something, isn't it? Once the sun gets low enough, that's when excitement happens. That's when we get the real shit. Nothing over here, right? Nope. Some rocks. Oh, fuck off. I can live with 50% fuel. I've lived with less. Spent a whole year without a boiler once. That was fun. Have I ever told you guys about that? I don't know. I might have done. I probably moaned about it at the time, because I think I was doing Let's Plays at the time. But, uh, yeah, I yeah. had a bit of an issue. I was unemployed. Um, my boiler broke down, and my dog, like, fucked up his leg at the same time. And me being the, you know, wonderful guy that I am, I prioritise getting the dog's leg fixed over repairing the boiler. So, essentially, I went, like, a year without central heating or hot water. And I'm not going to pretend it was a fun time, but it's very doable. You know, you just have to boil kettles and stuff. It's fine. I feel like this is somewhere I've been already, right? It's one of the paths on the on the road of judgment. Why am I calling it the road of judgment? I don't know. Why aren't you calling it the Road of Judgment? Didn't think of that, did you, buddy? No siree. Anything emerged from here yet? Oh, I see a building. Is there a door on this? Let me in. I must see things. I think this is basically all I'm waiting for now, right? Oh, oxygen's... Oxygen is a thing. Kind of forgot about oxygen. Uh... Do we remember which building had the had the trees in it? Okay, we'll head back up. We'll grab some oxygen, then we'll come back down. So we don't miss our window. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Oh, 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 oh. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. That was... That was a play right there. Did you see that? Did you see how well I played that? I'm not going to pretend it was skill. It was a pure gamble. <laughs> Getting through there just as the fucking tornado was over the top of the building. But, hey, if it works, it works, alright? Door! Let me in. Let me in. It goes up. I wasn't expecting it to go up. It goes really up. Where are we going? What was the point in this? Is that really all this is? Surely not. Surely this isn't... I haven't just been waiting around for a chance to go back to the top again. There's got to be more down here. This place is empty now. There is no longer any ash. Something... Something has got to exist. I don't care. I don't care. I don't need fuel. I was promised something at the core of this planet. Where is it? 
Where's my precious core reward? It's through the it's through the cactus, isn't it? All this is irrelevant. Emptying the entire planet wasn't the way of getting to the core. Oh, I'm a dum dum. The music's sad too. The music accepts that what I've done isn't correct. Get my fuel and my health back. <sighs> There's nothing. There's nothing for me here. We're just gonna have to try the cactus again. And not get sucked into the sun in the process. Which is the real challenge, honestly. Yeah, fuck it. Tried to go up on the ship. It's definitely easier with the jetpack. I'm no scientist, but did the sun just explode? Shit! <laughs> Does that mean we've got a timer? Does that happen every time? Does that... Like, even if I don't die to my own stupidity, do I eventually die because the sun just ends. So we're talking about supernovas. Fuck. That seems like a good stopping point. And I guess we still know closer to finding out what's going on inside the Ash Twin. Who knows what I'm going to do next time. But, I don't know, stick around, maybe it'll be interesting. I can't believe I now have an extra thing to worry about, on top of everything else, on top of all the other ways I can die, on top of the cactuses being out to get me, on top of occasionally getting eaten by a giant space anglerfish, on top of just a slightly bad landing resulting in my immediate death, on top of all of this, the fucking ghost matter that just erases me from existence. There's so many horrible things out to kill me. And now, on top of all of that, the sun is exploding. Fuck. See you next time.